Yesterday, while inspecting works at the Mandela National Stadium in Namboli, the Speaker of Parliament directed the Commission of Parliament, Matthias Mpoga, to produce a report on the progress of the status of the works at the stadium. Today, the report has been tabled on the floor of Parliament, implicating the owners of the Pioneer Easy Bus Company of demanding for money for compensation before they can remove buses at one of the parking lots of Namboli, whose land they said they received from the Uganda Land Commission in a 49-year lease. I hope when the matter of uh, pioneer comes to Parliament, Parliament will be very strict in investigating circumstances under which pioneer bus owners ended up at Namboli, acquiring a lease of 49 years as the Namboli land. However, Peter Gwang, the state minister for sports, says that the pioneer bus company owes the Namboli stadium management 157 million shillings for parking their buses there over time. And now they are in court requiring compensation of over 25 billion for business loss. Right on the speaker. I hope Parliament will interest itself in how all this happened. The judge who was managing the matter decided to excuse herself from <laughs> adjudicating on the final conclusion of the case because for us as Nambole management we were saying we want this company. We want to use our space. But members of parliament are questioning the terms under which the company acquired rights to this land. I want you to have the scrap. The scrap that is at Nambole, out of Nambole, using the legal mechanism. The Speaker of Parliament has tasked the Committee on State Authorities and State Enterprises, COSASE, to take over the investigations on how the land ended up being leased out to Pioneer Bus. And as we stand now, the lease expired. So I want COSASE, this is under COSASE, to take it as a priority, to find out how did ULC sublease land which belonged to another entity without authorization. And I also want you to look at how much money did they collect as NTR. Minister Gwanga says the buses have started being towed away from Namboli to an unknown location. Jumakiria, NTV.